Larry in Texas. Hi, Larry. You're live with Eric and B. What would you like to talk about? Hey, Eric. Long time no talk to. I I'm know. Been a bit. I'm getting my getting my Eric fix. Larry? Yeah, it's Larry. <gasps> Larry! <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> Oh, Larry. I, okay, so for those people who don't know Larry, I, I, I want to talk just a little bit about Larry because Larry does not get the appreciation and support that Larry deserves. Larry came to the ACA and said, you know what? You need to get a lot of the, the back end stuff in order to make sure that the ACA continues running forward. And I cannot imagine how we could possibly be here if it wasn't for Larry's help. Not only that, but as a human being, Larry gives really good hugs. <laughs> and and I, I miss that too. Larry, I'm so happy to hear from you, man. <laughs> One of the couple of issues I'd, I'd like to talk about real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, shoot. A lot of people have trouble with the concept, you know, with, with the word or the name atheist. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I prefer naturalist or secular humanist. Because, okay. you know, it doesn't have a negative connotation. But the other thing is you had an earlier discussion that was very good about consciousness. Mm -hmm. and, and everybody's making the mistake that it's a physical thing. It, it's, a, it's just a, a concept uh, more than anything else. It's, 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 it's definitely a collection of things. And it's not supernatural, of course, but it, it is just a concept. Like physics is a concept, and and I, so the term uh, consciousness uh, is, is very confusing to people for that reason. I I so while I, for the most part, agree, I think that um, the, the problem is is it's just fuzzy definitions. It's it's people who who want to. Um, want to engage in a topic but don't have the language for it or think that they do have the language for it but it turns out that it's it's getting in the way and so often we find especially on you know i've seen on this show over and over and over you know people want to have honest conversations about a thing but sometimes the language is what's getting in the way um when we had a that caller who was talking about knowledge uh he was he was carrying with him that 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 definition of knowledge that we didn't have that we weren't operating right. with and so we we're just we we're talking past each other but hopefully we can have more that will spur better conversations is members only mode off yeah we're in tech members only mode yeah. oh. i hadn't heard oh. the concept of knowledge before it's a, it seemed a little bizarre to me it it is one that is it definitely takes a while to wrap your noggin around it, it's it, I, it and honestly the the more and more I, I engage with knowledge as a concept the more i find that i'd rather use words like belief yeah also as far as the uh, the caller that we were talking to earlier i'm pretty sure that he was of the opinion that anything that did not have mass was by definition supernatural so I, I, I would totally take the, the, the track of possibly discussing consciousness as an abstract concept along the same lines as, as you know, other abstract concepts like math. <laughs> but like, I feel like he would be like, yeah, math is also supernatural because it doesn't have matter. <laughs> mm, you're going to put me on a soapbox and we'll be here for the rest of the day. Okay, let's not talk about math in front of Eric. <laughs> hey, Larry. I miss you too. I miss you too, Larry. Yeah, you take care of yourself, all right, man. It's it's really really good to hear from you. Yeah, pop in the crew chat sometime. We'll talk. Yeah. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you, and uh, keep up keep up the good work. Goodbye. Hey. Larry, we couldn't be here uh, without you. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Bye. That just gave me the warm fuzzies. You got excited there for a minute. It's Larry. <laughs> there are so many people who I miss who who, yeah. who have been just integral. They're just so important in 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 making sure that the ACA can keep going, and um, yeah, just due to us making sure that we're quarantining, we haven't gotten to see a lot of them. And yeah. and I, I, Larry, it's so good to hear your voice, man. <laughs> it just is.
So I know that um, we could continue on calls, but I actually really, really want to hear some people's suggestions about what humiliation we need to put ourselves <laughs> through once we get to 100,000 subscribers. I mean, yeah, let's 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 jump into the Discord and and hope people follow us over there. Definitely, um, we we we've got the link down on the bottom third, tiny.cc slash ACA Discord. Um, here's the thing. We can't run long because at three o'clock is the nonprofits and we want to support them. And we hope that at three o'clock you join the nonprofits because yeah. I know I'm going to be watching and it's exciting. We don't want to step on their toes. So if we're going to engage with the viewers and everyone at home, now's the time. Yeah. Hop over to Discord and we will see you there in just a minute. But in the meantime... Are you ready for some love rings? Let's do it. All right. One, two, three. Yay. <laughs> so while we got those warm fuzzies, we want to share them with the crew. Um, we have an amazing crew. I, the, the, the work that y'all put in. <laughs> oh, fine, Eric, not. I see what you did there. Uh <laughs> Look, multiple cats today. Uh-huh. Hey. Thank you. Thank you for all the hard work that you're doing. We, we sincerely appreciate it. We couldn't do it without you. And it's not fair that you deserve more recognition that you get than, than you get. And so we want to thank you publicly. We want to say you're amazing. Um, for those of you who, well, whether you believe or not, if you're putting yourself in harm's way because of COVID, um, for our betterment, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really not going to, we're not going to split hairs on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know who I want to shout out today? Who? Specifically? Who? Uh, Uber Eats and DoorDash and Grubhub drivers. Oh my goodness, right? yes. They are running this society right now. They really are. And so if you drive for any of those and food Amazon. delivery services or work for Amazon, first <laughs> of all, UPS I'm sorry. Or FedEx. But also, yeah, you guys are keeping everything running. So thank you. Yeah. Also, we are moving into winter. We are seeing a, a, another spike in this pandemic. It's not over. It's not going to be over for a while still. In fact, we are hearing that it might get worse for a little bit for a couple of months here. So yeah. make sure that you're still staying in small groups. Make sure that you're covering your face when you go outside. Make sure that you're washing your hands and, you know, staying within a certain uh, number of, of, of people and places for, for right now. We know it can be rough, but yeah. and I've had to look at his face for every every day for the last uh, seven months now. Poor you. It's so hard. Anyway, those of you who are putting yourselves out there, you're doing your job and we're doing ours. We want to make sure that we, we contribute to this being a safe place. <sighs> for those of you who don't believe, hey, I hope you go, I hope you join us on Discord because we want to hear from you. Yeah. Um, and I love that we have people calling in from all over the world because this is a growing community and I absolutely love it. Um, thank you for being here and welcome if you're new and if you're returning and, and you're an old hand at this, thank you for being here to make it a safe, warm and open place for those people who are new. We need that. Yeah. But for those of you who do believe, we, we don't, don't hate you. you. We, we just, just think, think you're wrong. wrong. See you next week. <laughs>